One of the entities that's always had a strange but kind of unique energy in the back rooms and liminal space lore is the Game Master, aka entity number 99. This is a very enigmatic, very powerful, very outlandish creature entity, to say the least, and I've never really dove deep into the information around her. And surprisingly, I noticed a ton of strange features and lore about her, so I decided to throw this video together, and let's today cannonball into the bizarre history, lore, and story of the Game Master entity, and I hope you enjoy. Please. So to start, let me really explain what the Game Master actually is, if you're not aware. The Game Master is entity number 99 in the back rooms, and she is a sentient, powerful entity with a very erratic and volatile personality. She lives on level 389 of the back rooms, which is called the Gaming Hall, and it's its own whole box of stuff. I have a video about it check that out but this is the level where the game master entity has almost full control she kind of runs it and it's almost like her own personal playhouse kind of the game master takes the physical appearance of a jester like marionette doll figure that's brightly and vibrantly colored the way she moves around in the physical space inside the level is also pretty unique and i'll just want to talk about that for a second when she's in an idle state the game master kind of just lays face down down on the checkered floor of the level. Like a ragdoll physics, just threw her over there. That's how she lays. But when she's up and moving, she revolves around the level with puppet-like strings attached to her, which kind of violently moves her from side to side and up and down. And she moves very erratically around, just like a puppet. The Game Master's face is made out of what seems to be a glass digital screen that displays two red X's where normal eyes should go, and underneath her eyes is a big red smile. So sometimes the facial expressions can change, it just depends. The body of the entity is also weird because it's stuffed and filled with what seems to be cotton or cotton-like material, and the outside is obviously colored in blue and yellow fabrics. This is strange because there's no flesh and blood to the creature. It doesn't even seem like it can be alive. Yes, she is. But essentially, now that you know the biology and the basic kind of overview of the Game Master, I want to dive into the strangeness behind her behaviors and what motivations she or whoever controls her might have. So when you talk to this entity, you'll notice that she responds with very up-to-date internet slang. And often she refers to trending media or memes that are popular in reality. And when you first get sent to the gaming hall level and begin to interact with the game master, the likelihood is she will try to convince you to play one of her games that she has there. See, the gaming hall level is filled to the brim with board games and card games and arcade games. And the game master always insists heavily that she created those games. They're all her creations. And she says over and over that she created them from scratch, even though the majority of them are identical to real life games. And it was once you engage or start to play a game against the Game Master, you might notice that she frequently tries to cheat the games to win, even though they're her own game and she claims to have invented the game. She still try to cheat to get the W. Honestly, at that point, I kind of respect it because she does whatever it takes to win. But most of the games also tend to be structured in a way where she wins naturally from just how it works. Essentially dooming you to fail from the very beginning of the game. And she gloats in the fact that you lose. Why does the Game Master want to cheat? Why is she so happy to win? I don't know, I'm asking you. So to recap really fast, we have this puppet doll thing that's sentient, erratic, and that spews off references of pop culture and meme media, and she wants to play board games against you and tries to cheat to win every single time. Does that all make sense? It sounds like the most normal backrooms entity of all time. But I'm sure the question that you have at this point is, really, where does it get strange? Why, why are you calling this the bizarre lore of the Game Master? Well, I want to posit the question, who is controlling? the Game Master. As I said, there are strings that are attached to her body that move her around. Where do these strings lead? And who is the Puppet Master behind it all? And I guess the true answer to that can't really be determined at this time since we have no idea, but we do know that the strings go straight up into the void of a ceiling. Since you can't really see the ceiling, they just go up into this pitch blackness. Touch more on this theory later, but it's likely that something more powerful and sinister 
might be controlling this entity. Game Master frequently records and documents and catalogs interviews with survivors that she runs into in the gaming hall. And the earliest of these interviews goes all the way back to the early 1900s, which again, adds this strange little twist to the entity. I mean, no one really knows how old she is, but if she's already documenting stuff from the early 1900s, then she's like really old. The plot thickens even more because allegedly extremely old games have been found inside the level. And when the game master was asked about why these old games are here and why she keeps them around and why she doesn't play them, she just replies they're quote, old and boring and would not elaborate further. You guessed it, the weirdness does not stop there because through the back rooms and its levels, there is an ancient group of people that are known as the Lost, which essentially these are just the people that got sent to the back rooms a long time ago. Lost has cataloged a bunch of history and a bunch of like deities and gods that they apparently worshiped back in the day. And they have a deity in their lore and culture called Nunca, which is described eerily similar to the game master entity that I just described to you. Nunca is a jester-ish puppet that kind of moves around erratically with strings tied to him, and they have very similar personalities. Is the game master and this entity related somehow? Are they the same? Are they controlled by the same puppet master? I don't know, and most importantly, what is the purpose of them being entities and what is the purpose of them acting the way they do? But if they are somehow related, if they're the same thing, this would mean that the Game Master is hundreds, if not thousands of years old, even though sightings of her in the gaming hall only date back a decade or so. Something doesn't really add up. Now, the Game Master is not outrightly dangerous or aggressive, but she does lie and she does cheat at the games she plays perhaps with ill intent or with the purpose of hurting or cheating others. Well, definitely with the purpose of cheating, she does it all the time. But whatever the case may be, the lore behind this entity is just very uncanny and bizarre. And for the five billionth time in this video, it just doesn't stop there. At the bottom of the document about the Game Master, there is a link to a photographed artwork and a note. Now the artwork seems to depict a puppet master of sorts with the game master and with Nunca in its full control. It's controlling the game master with its right hand and Nunca with its left hand. And the letter it has is disturbing to say the least. But at the bottom of that, it says, I am whatever this is, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. And I am the final truth. So as creepy as that sounds, it seems like this thing might be controlling the Game Master and, and even Nunca. And if that is the case, who or what controls it? If it controls these already powerful beings, then what is above this creature? Is there a more powerful creature that controls it? Or is like it just puppetception forever and ever and the strings go all the way up to the top? We just don't know. Lots of questions and not a lot of answers. And I'm sure that you yourself have more questions than you had answers when you started this video. And I do too, to be honest. That is all the lore and information that we have available to us about the Game Master. And as you can see, it just doesn't even like add up to anything. She's a very strange, erratic creature that might be controlled by something else, which is even more strange and erratic. And she exists with the sole goal of controlling the gaming hall and trying to distort and cheat to win. Is it a humiliation ritual? Does the puppet master like winning? Does she like winning? We don't know. It's all very bizarre and way deeper than I assume most of you thought it was. Is it all fake? Is it all made up lore? We don't even know. We have no idea. And I'm sure that's very unsatisfying for you, but that's just how it is. Maybe I'll have to make a video on if you beat her at her own game, what would happen? Who knows? Leave a like if you want that. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. This is a different style of video, kind of different editing. Hope you enjoyed still. Uh, maybe I'll do more like character analysis and level analysis in this, in this way if you want it. If you don't, well, then I won't, obviously. But I enjoyed this a lot. Hope you did too. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Spoogly, my other channel in the description below, as well as my Twitter and Instagram. If you want to follow me there for some reason, you can do that. And uh, with all that said, I hope you had a great day, and I hope you are uh, feeling great today. And make sure you tell somebody you love them. Life's too short not to. With all that said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.